Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT. And I started filming before I was quite ready. So here is what we're making today. A little Phi Tile holder for your uh, Phi Tiles and that they can slip in your purse or whatever. This was my prototype. So I learned a few things on this one. You're gonna get the one that is better. So, um, and you need to take the Phi Tile printout that you can get um, through my link on my website. Go to the, go to my store, and then go to freebies, and you'll find the Phi Tile um, template. Um, if some of you printed earlier, I apologize because I added one that was not legally mine to to share so um, I had I pulled it I don't know what I was thinking but here we have our template and I printed it it's a two-part template because the five dial is larger and I printed the the, fi the template on one side and on the other side is just some scrapbook paper that I liked and you need to print this on cardstock lightweight cardstock works really good because we're gonna double up and make it a little stronger so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to cut this out and get ready. Okay, now I have mine cut out and there are three pieces. And you see there's some little lines. Those are score lines. And I forgot to tell you that you need to make sure you print this at 100% or your phi tiles will not fit because you need... I think I glued my phi tile down in there. I did. There we go. You need to be able to have your phi tile fit in that space going both ways. And so you need to make sure that it is a full size. And these lines are going to be our score lines. Now, you don't have to have anything fancy to score this. I, you can use a, a ballpoint pen that is out of ink. Um, if you have a score tool, um, you can use that. that. If you have a scoreboard, you can use that. I'm going to use my score tool, which is a um, just a little. I use these all the time in my work. I paint eyes on little pink dinas with them. That's why this one has paint all over it. And um, but they just have a little ball on the end. And then I'm going to take a ruler. And I'm going to line up on that point and my lines might not be exactly perfect and score that and then I'm going to come in a quarter of an inch and when I was doing this that's the most trouble I had was the quarter of an inch in and score it here score it it just makes it much much easier to fold if they're scored so I've scored those now I'm going to come over here and score these and I'm going to score the inside ones first and then I'm going to come and do a quarter of an inch away it's very important that you are pretty accurate with this or extremely accurate but I'm not always accurate and mine were a little bit off and then we just are going to keep this one this one's going to slide down inside of here um, like this to help cover up something that we're doing so now that we've got them scored I like to round the corners now this point I just round it with my scissors you can round it with a corner rounder but it's not a 45 degree angle so it's going to be a little bit harder so I just round it with my scissors and I'm not going to round those two I just like that one round now this is going to go in here and I'm going to glue it in here along though that score line it's 
might have gotten it a little bit wide looks like I did so I'm gonna I'm going to trim this down just a little tiny bit just a hair off because I got it just a little bit wide I don't want it to cover up the score lines and every printer is just a little bit different and so I was using two printers today there we go so now that's going to lay in here and we're going to um, just put it right in here I'm going to take um, some glue and I'm just going to glue in here this is just a fabric tack this is this is fabric tack that is for um, cloth I bought it by mistake but I really like it um, but the only thing is is it's very runny and it comes in a spray bottle and I didn't like it in the spray bottle so I put it in a little squirt bottle and then I move the the glue around with the little q-tip and now I'm going to lay this in and it's so you've got to make sure that you're accurate because it will stick down extremely fast then I'm just gonna bray it a little bit here I can take my bone folder and rub it down because I like it to make sure it's nice and tight so I'm just braying it down so it's nice and tight now I'm going to fold in on my um, on my score lines so I'm going to fold it in and then fold in again on my score lines and you can um, s you know smooth them out with your your bone folder and we've got to make this a little chunky so that's why we have the two little lines now I'm going to fold here again and on this one this one and this one and that's going to give you that little edge right here that you see now I like to uh, ink mine so I'm going to take out some ink and I'm going to ink my edges because I, I like that um, because when you're using um, uh, cardstock it's a little thicker and you'll see a white edge and this just gives you some dimension and so I like to ink my edges I ink them all the way around so those are inked and I'm also going to take my little one that I cut separate and ink it and um, I may just ink a little bit of my um, front of that so it's not so white and now we're ready to fold this into our card and there's one side that is longer than the other side and that's the one I'm going to bring up from the bottom so if you look at one has a longer piece and one has a shorter this one is going to I'm going to glue this in and it's going to cover up but not yet so we're going to glue this in now we want to make sure when we glue it that we don't glue so that everything sticks so you can fold it in make sure your edges are square and put a little mark where you're going to put your glue 
and I'm going to stick my glue. I'm going to take my little Q-tip and run it around. Then I'm going to fold it and it's going to stick up a little bit. Now you can just use a glue stick, but I want to make sure that these edges are square so when I fold that down, I get a nice square. It's not it's not peeping out. And now I'm going to fold this up. Now I can round these corners, but I think I'm going to leave them square. I have rounded them in the past on some of mine, but it's up to you whether you round them. Let's see if I can find one that's it's, um, this one's not rounded, but this one is rounded. I've rounded the corners right here. You can see that. But I think I'm just going to leave that nice and square. I kind of like it. So now I'm just going to put some glue right along the edge. You don't want it to go in the center because you've got this really big spot that is your... Um, opening and so we just want it to go on the outside edges and up so now I'm just going to put my glue there I'll have to hold this just a minute because it's a wet glue it's not a dry glue you can use any number of glues that you want I just happen to have this and I use it you can use score tape that works well if you have score tape I have score tape, but I'm not one who really likes it that well. So here we have our little envelope. We're going to test it out. I'm going to take my fi tile and stick it down in here, and it fits. And I need room because I'm going to stack up and use several fi tiles in here. Now I'm going to have a closure, and I'm going to close it. And I've got a little gap in between here because... Um, of, that's just how it happened to fit but I'm going to put my oh I made my closure we're going to make a closure out of round circles now I have punched a bunch of circles and I um, am you don't want just this one little flimsy piece so it's it's not just oh there's the one I because it's um, a little bit too flimsy and so I have punched out some and I've glued them together so this makes this a little harder instead of being just a flimsy little piece you've got a little harder one and um, so I've I'm going to ink around the edges of this and I'm going to take my this is for another one a different color and I'm going to take my awl. I have a book awl, but you can take a needle. If you've got a sharp needle, and you can poke a hole in the center. So I'm just going to poke a hole in the center of that. So now I have a hole poked in the center. Can you see that little? You can see it better on that side. You can see. Um, and now I'm going to take a mini brad. You can use any kind of brad you want but I'm just going to use this little mini brad that um, I've got and now I'm going to poke a hole in this side of my and I want it to be about three quarters of an inch down from the top so I'm going to measure that and I'm going to poke my hole I'm eyeballing where the center is. We'll see how I did. Probably not all that good, but I'm okay with that. And I'm going to stick my my little closure in here. And then I'm going to open up those legs. And I learned something off the internet. If if you want this to be a little open, I've made this little template. It's just out of some um, chipboard and it just slides in here and this allows me to open up these brads and put them down flat 
and still have room to put my um, closure string in there. So I put it down and now I can slide it out and um, now I, I can put my closure string around there. Now I want to cover up this brad because I don't like it so I'm going to slide this little piece of uh, paper that I got and I'm going to slide it down inside of here and I'm probably going to have to mark my um, folding lines again but I'm going to glue this inside of here it will also strengthen this fold and so I'm going to glue I'm going to put my glue take my little q-tip because my fingers get way too sticky if I try to spread it around with my fingers. Who would do that anyway? Oh, everyone. <laughs> we all use our fingers for everything. So now I'm going to just slide this down inside of here and it's going to cover up. And that's where I tell you, it sticks really fast. And so I want to make sure that it is not hanging over the edge. Boy, I'm having a rough time getting it in there. Yeah, there it goes. And now I'm just going to ink that edge a little bit more so that that white doesn't show up. And now I'm ready. I can fold that on my edge. It's a little fidgety, but while that glue is still wet, I can fold it. I don't know if you call that fidgety or there we go and um, there we have it so that it's covered up now I think I'm going to round these corners because they seem like they would catch so I'm just going to do my paper cutter my rounder and I'm going to round these corners you can round it by hand if you want They don't, um, thin paper doesn't cut very good with my corner rounder. And there we have our closure. And I'm going to just give this a little bit more antique look. And um, there we have our closure. So now I'm going to take some string. And I have, um, I'm also a, a weaver and this is warp thread or you can use crochet cotton but I'm going to put it around I just did it oh, I don't think I did it long enough nope I'm going to have to cut another one I wasn't paying attention so I need to make sure I've got a long enough piece yeah that's better I fold it in half and then I can slide it around my um, closure here I'm going to tie a knot, so half edge, I'm going to tie a square knot up in here just so that make sure it doesn't go away. And then I'm going to take both my strings and I'm going to wrap it around and wrap it around here and I've got enough that I can put a little dangle or something on it so I'm going to tie a knot. I put on one I make too short and then another one I make too long and so there's my string I'm gonna those are paper scissors not thread scissors and there we have it let's see if our um, five tiles will fit in here still a little tiny bit wet I'm gonna get out a stack of five tiles I've got some gray ones I'm gonna stick in here there they do. I don't know how many I've got in there. Let's give it a little count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I bet I can fit 20. And there are a couple of white ones. Let's see. That was a little bit more. It fits about 20 snugly in, in there. So there I have it. Now I can just fold it up. Now if I want to put a little dangle or something, 
I love to repurpose old jewelry and so I'm going to take a little um, bead and I shouldn't have cut that off so soon because I'm going to take my I mean tied it in a knot I'm going to take my thread I have to lick it so it sticks together so there it goes up I have several different ways but this these particular beads had a a hole at both ends and I didn't want to have to redo a new one so I just thought oh I'll just do those and I'm just going to make a little half hinge knot oh, if I can do it I'll have to undo that so I have a little room and there we have a little dangle on it which makes it so cute well I just think it's cute I'm gonna pick up I say I punch out a bunch of circles when I uh, have scrap paper so I have closures for me and um, but there you go we've got our little fi tile um, pocket and um, I'm just going to ink the edges of my little folio or my little envelope what do we want to call it and I love to write little um, sentiments you know if I have a little um, word or something I'm gonna I think about I love to write those and put them in here let's see did I know if I didn't do any in those but you can see I've gone a little bit crazy this one it folds all the way down this one is um, another one that I'm going to do there's my little I've just got it all ready to put the uh, little closure on it and I'll have it ready uh, so if you want smaller ones this one does a ATC card let me see if I can pull out some ATC cards yeah there's some there's some ACTs and no oh, nope those aren't ACTs those are a little bit bigger there it is there's my ACTs and they fit in there and will close up and since it's smaller it closes a little bit better but isn't that fun and I'm crazy about the roses the, the pattern I've gotten right now is I'm just crazy about it but there we have it now you can tangle on and carry them with you in your I don't know a and they would make a great gift to just make a little pack of cards and introduce someone to Zentangle well thanks again for watching and my madness today and there we have you know I have them in a couple of different sizes because I looked at um, Victoria designs antenna if you do a free if you log into her website her usually her YouTube channel or her Etsy shop and sign up you can get a template for the ACT cards and one that's three by four which I carry those in my shop now the little three by four cards these are the three by four and they fit in um, one of these so anyway thanks again for watching have a great day and let's tangle every day now we have no excuse we can carry them with us thanks again and see you next time